Okay, the, que the, the state of the recording of this is questionable because I've had to alt-tab out of this game. And Robin Hood is in the background. Robin! Alright. <laughs> and I'm back, finally, with more Nancy Drew. Um, I am actually considering, depending on how long we get through, or how long it takes us to get through this. Am I in this one? No, I think, I think we're on this one. Look. Okay, there we go. Yes, I think this is true. I don't remember what we were doing. It's been a little bit since I last played this. I think we talked to Chicky Poo over here. Um, I may actually have to go check my to-dos. So, if I remember correctly, we almost died, right? So what are we doing next? Uh, things to do. See if anyone knows the answer to Miles' first riddle. Oh yeah, okay, so we had heard a riddle from Miles the robot. We need to get the letter down. That's right, we got, in we got underneath the carousel. Ask around about the device I found under the carousel, which may or may not be causing it to work on its own, which is creepy. Also, sorry if the camera is really awkwardly lit. Um, it is midday on a Sunday, and it is quite bright outside, so we have quite a bit to do. So definitely, you know. Okay, real talk. This seashell looks like it's got a sensor bar <laughs> underneath it. This right here, it looks like it does. So I was actually really excited about how cool this one's turned. Oopsies, that's not where I meant to go, but whatever. Um... I think we talked to Joy. Oh, she obviously does not know about the puzzles, so we could go talk to Ingrid. And she's Hello, here. Nancy. How goes it? Found something under. Okay, we'll ask her about this. She's got to know about the control device. She's an engineer. I found something underneath the carousel that looks like it might be a remote control device. Oh, I'd like to see it. Interesting. I looked under there. <clears throat> I wonder how I missed it. Because you placed May it. I have this. Actually, I'd kind of like to keep it. Suit yourself. Yeah, it is. You know evidence and I don't trust you yet so no you can't have it <laughs> this is gonna sound like a really odd question but what if someone asked you to get him the silvery remains of a four bit day so a four bit day a bit was like wasn't that I, I'm, I'm gonna shoot make a long shot in the dark here but I could swear a four bit that was that's like a term for money in it and I think it was like Oh god, no. Nah. See, I don't really remember, but there's also saying like a two bit, like you're a two bit cheapskate or something like that. Two bits, I think, is like two pennies or something. See, long shot in the dark. I think it's literally uh like it's a it's a riddle based off of a theme park and a four bit four bits is money. So silvery remains of coins. Long shot. This is going to sound like a really <laughs> odd question, but if someone asked you to get him the silvery remains of a four-bit day, what would you do? Same thing any normal person would do. Ask him what the heck he was talking about. <laughs> so right. She doesn't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> got your soldering gun from Elliot and fix that card reader. I got your soldering gun from Elliot and fix that card reader. Does he borrow your tools a lot? Very rarely. He's not exactly a mechanical genius. Hmm. So why did he need Thanks it? Thanks for your help. One open mind sees more than two open eyes. All right, cool. So she had no idea what it was, but she seemed very interested in it. Let's go see Elliot. Maybe he knows about that that riddle. Nancy, you're a procrastinator's dream. Know that? Come in. Ask me questions. Ask me lots of questions. <laughs> okay, so we could ask him. Okay, let's ask about the riddle. Easy, but I was hoping you could maybe help me solve a riddle. <laughs> If I asked you for the silvery remains of a four-bit day, what would you give me? A riddle. I love riddles. Okay, and procrastinating. Let's see. Silvery remains has to be something silver that's left over, right? Okay. Obviously. Now, if two-bit means worth a quarter, four-bit would mean worth two quarters. Quarters. Captain's quarters, maybe? The hotel adjacent to the park? What about the word day? What about the word day? Captain's quarters day. Day. Spelled D-A-E as in Sunday. That's it. There's this fantastic Sunday you can get only at the hotel. They call it a fun day. It's been their specialty for like centuries. It's a very specific. Comes with a souvenir spoon. Silvery as in spoon. Get it? Wow. That was, that was a longer stretch than what I had. Jesus. You're Ellie, a genius. You're a genius. Next riddle. Come on. 
I'm on a roll, baby. I'm in a groove. Bring it on. All right, I'll, I'll bring I'll you more. I'll get back to work. Keep it real. I'll bring you more in a minute, because clearly you're my riddle guy. Why did the music suddenly get so angry? All right, anyway. Let's go uh, to Joy, and we can tell her, hey, Joy, guess what I found? Any luck with the riddle? <clears throat> I'm still working on it. Need no, I'm not. Something? But we know we got it. Oh, wait, no, I'm supposed to get it, aren't I? All right, let's uh, let's do this. I don't think it's Joy. We're helping her too much for her, for it to be Joy. Well, maybe that's why it is Joy. <laughs> this is hard. Okay, so we want to look at the desserts, right? Uh, six layers of sheer heaven served with your very own collectible souvenir spoon. So how do I get it? How do I... How do I how do I feel about it? All right, um inbox. Do I have anything? Oh, wait, I think I do. We have news from home. Dear Nancy, yesterday after you left, Togo was playing with his yellow squeaky toy in the family room, and it rolled underneath the TV cabinet. I tried to get it out with the yardstick, but I couldn't reach it. Now all Togo does is lie in the family room and whimper. He won't even eat. As you know, that toy was his favorite. But don't worry, I'm gonna go to the pet store as soon as it opens and get him a new one. Hannah is, I think, their housemaid, if I remember correctly, but she's basically like a family member. Like, she, Nancy pretty much looks at Hannah like a mother. Um, Nancy's mother died when she was little. Order of fun day. Dagnabbit, how the hecky doseki am I supposed to do that? Oh, like, with this, probably. <laughs> Obviously. Hotel operator, what do you want? Are you the regular operator? I'm filling in for my cousin Amber. She took the week off on account of the amusement park being shut down. You don't okay. want an outside line, do you? Actually, I have a cell phone. Good, use it. An outside line will cost you an arm and a leg. Besides, I'm not sure how to get you one. Well, thank so, God for that. Ms. Aaron, what do you want? Uh, that's Drew. Nancy Drew. Sorry, my cousin's handwriting reeks. So, what do you want, Miss Drew? <laughs> I love her accent. Alright, we, uh, no, 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 no. That's not what I want. I'd like to order a fun day. I'd like to order a fun day, please. 2,480 calories worth of sheer heaven plus one official fun day souvenir spoon coming right up. Anything else? 2,480 calories. That's more than you're supposed to have in a day. That's it. Thanks a lot. Don't mention it. That is a, literally more than you're supposed to have in a day, I think. Awesome. A fun day. Oh, that was so good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. All right, we got the Captain's Cove spoon. Yeah, it was definitely a, uh, a sacrifice there, huh, Nancy? You really had to, <laughs> really had to work for that one. All right, let's go in and give her the spoon. Any luck? I'm pretty sure Miles wants us to bring him. Yep. I'm pretty sure Miles wants us to bring him the souvenir spoon you get when you order a fun day Sunday at the captain's quarters. There's like no right way here. to even put give that it together. To Miles and see what happens. There's literally. Oh, one sec. There's no way to actually get this. Like, like me walking in there, like, oh yeah, four bit day. He wants the spoon from the fun day, fun day Sunday at the captain's quarters, and she's just like, I don't even see the court. Like, you know how normally someone says the answer to a riddle, and you're like, oh, duh. No, you say the answer to the riddle, and she's like, nah, I still don't get it. <laughs> that would be me, anyway. I'm like, how the heck did you get that? The scan is complete. The object is correct. Your mother used to take you for a Sunday at the captain's quarters almost every week. Do you remember, Joy? The captain's quarters fun day. I do remember that. Aww. I was so small, I always had to sit on my mother's lap to eat it. I wish I could remember what she looked like. Miles, in the riddle, you said something about telling a truth long since. Oh, well, we can Don't let's ask about a the picture. picture. Of her? You were very little when your mother died, Joy. Your <clears throat> grief came out as anger. Oh. Before your father could stop you, you destroyed every picture of your mother that he had. I oh. did that? No. My father told me he had gotten rid of them. He always said some things are better left forgotten. Oh my gosh. I'm the reason I have nothing to remember her by. 
Ooh, that got dark. Holy crap. I was not expecting it. Ooh, Nancy, Drew, what the heck? Oh, God. I'm sure your father helped you shut out the truth in order to spare your feelings. I'm sure your father helped you shut out the truth in order to spare your feelings. The older your father got, Joy, the more he realized that life is nothing but memories. He realized that even bad memories have a place in a good life. This is a good that point. That's why he invented Miles the Magnificent Memory Machine. To help you remember the bad memories. Wow, that's heartbreaking. A little bit. Here is the second riddle. This one is written down. Please remove it. That is so it's depressing. Just a blank piece of paper. I know what to do here. You and your mother used to love to play this game, Joy. Once I know what again, to do. I have no idea what he's talking about. Some of the things your father wants you to remember may be pretty painful. You know, some of the things your father wants you to remember may be pretty painful. Are you sure you want to go on? If you still want to help me, please, Nancy, keep going. I feel like a door somewhere is starting to creak open. I'm kind of scared to open it, but I also kind of know I have to. It's freaking music. <laughs> I'll get back I'll get to back you. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, Nancy. Well, I know what to do, more or less. It's that thing we read about in her email about the, the sticking it underneath an... Ah, I have the hiccups. An iron. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I went too far. I don't know if we need the lemon juice. We might. Okay. Hey! I did not. Oh, dang it. Come on. Here we go. Okay, a little bit more. The first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune, plus one mouth organ, plus one smidgen of talent, equals one happy miles. What? <laughs> we'll just turn that off. We don't want to start a fire in the freaking hotel. I wouldn't be surprised at, at this game if it literally, like, ended because I didn't turn off the stupid, like, the amount of times we've lost. There was a message. There was a message written in lemon juice on that piece of paper Miles gave us. We're to play the first eight notes of your favorite band organ tune on a mouth organ for Miles. My favorite band organ tune? I don't even know what a band organ is. Or a mouth organ either, for that matter. Jesus, all these memories. A band organ is what usually plays. A band organ is what usually plays the music you hear when you ride a carousel. I knew we were going to need a harmonica. Is a harmonica. Thank you. You used to play the harmonica for your mother all the time, Joy. Your favorite tune was the one you heard on the carousel. It couldn't have been. I never rode the carousel. I always thought it was stupid. I thought all the rides in the park were stupid. Hmm. <laughs> if you can't remember anything, this is going to be impossible. <laughs> is all you can tell us We're not going to say that. I have been programmed to give you one hint. The tune is on the third row. You will have to think about this one. End of hint. Oh. It's all yours, detective. As usual, I'm stumped. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, Nancy. Well then, we know where to get the harmonica. What did I tell you guys? What did I tell you? We were gonna need a harmonica. <laughs> okay, so real quick, let's take a look at this prizomatic. I think I have one of these. Yeah, I have. I have. Yeah, I don't have enough for it. Hang on. Submit correct tokens. So we need this. And we need this. Uh oh. Looks like it's out of order. Oh, dang it. Okay. We're probably gonna need that. I'll bet you ten bucks. Also, we need to get our our card refilled. Hey Nancy, what's up? Uh I'll never mind. Around. Sounds good. Okay. I guess I still have enough credits on it to do one thing. So, let's go see Ingrid, because it's out of order, right? Then we're probably... Hello, how goes it? Eh, see? Any advice on how to go about fixing the Midway game that's broken? It needs to be reprogrammed. Open up the back. Should be some instructions on the clipboard. Check that handbook I gave you if they're too cryptic for you. But you'll also need the plug-in keyboard. And unfortunately, I have no idea where it is. I One do. My guys probably in my inventory. In it's in Thanks my inventory. No big deal. We're good. I already got that. So that's why you always, even though there's stuff to be done at the beginning of the game, you just go everywhere. Pick up everything you can. And then you start working on the puzzles. Unless you already know the answer to a puzzle, then you just, just dive in. Alright, so we've already done this guy. We can do this one right now. 
Uh, please insert your fun pass. Oh, well, obviously. Time for a game of swimmer's itch. Uh-oh. You are using your last fun credit, so I'm keeping your card. But don't cry. Just Rude. get a new one. Your mission is to get the swimmer to the beach. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. The card has been eaten. Get the swimmer to the beach before the hurricane hits. Move the swimmer from right to left by clicking on the swimmer or on the obstacles in the swimmer's way. What? Okay, vertical objects move up and down. Horizontal, oh I see, I understand. Move left and right, and square objects move up, down, left, and right. But keep an eye on the weather forecast to the right. If you don't reach the beach by the time the forecast says hurricane, you lose. Win all three levels and you get a seahorse token, which is obviously what I need. Okay, could I just like, no. <laughs> um, what? Uh, oh no, it's one of, oh, it's one of these. Oh, flip. Yeah, oh, I got it, thank God, all right. Oh my God, that got unreasonably difficult. No, it didn't. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. I apparently have this much better than I expected. Hey, hey, you, you stop that. You stop that, I'm going, I'm going. Ah, no, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, no, I'm not. What the heck? Okay. Oh, I made it. Do I win? Oh my god, I win. Woo! I was starting to panic there. Alright, we got two out of three tokens. Now, I do actually... We're gonna do this first because I, uh... I know hey, I need Nancy, another one. Up? I seem to have used up all the fun on my fun pass. Did you say I could get another one? I certainly did. Here you go. Enjoy. Well, thank you. And I'll see you around. See you around. Knock them dead. That one was a lot easier than the first one that we did, which I failed 14 times. <laughs> um, let's go back to the Midway Games and fix this bad boy. Oh, jeez. I would be so scared of doing this. Someone is going to crush me. Someone is 100% going to crush me. Um, it's this one, right? Excellent. The keyboard is missing. I'm working on it. All right, here we go. Keyboard. Wasn't there a paper that came with that thing? Yeah, it's this one. Oh dear. Oh, what have I done? I clicked something to change the function. Uh, to update game, change function call on line directly below. Game over equals barnacle blast. Oh Jesus. All right, hang on. Go back. Also, let's save because God only knows. Now I'm a programmer, but this is a mini game for programming. So this is obviously not going to have any bearing on my skill. <laughs> okay, taking into consideration Alon Alan Alon Lisky's law on flux capacitors. Uh-huh. You've now installed the upgrade. Got this done, but had to fight the power relay switch to work right. Programming upgrade. After successfully upgrading the hardware on the Tahoe circuit board, the Kohlmeister arcade game will not function and will display an error message on the front panel. The hardware upgrade must be added to the Kohlmeister arcade game mode. In the back of each Kohlmeister arcade game is a small video screen that contains the programming code. Use a Kohlmeister portable keyboard to plug into the monitor and type in the code upgrade. This can be done by simply adding the word super to the upgrade function and by entering the Krollmeister arcade game serial number as the parameter. So we need the word super, and we need the serial number. If it was called, if the upgrade function was called ping, and the serial number was UB4700, the new function name would be super ping, and it would, you would put in the serial as the parameter. Okay, so I do actually understand what that means. But this is, this is, Wait, hang on. I need to make sure that that is where I'm supposed to click. 
Yeah, okay. So we put, well, no, I don't have the serial number for this machine, so. Mm, let's see if it's in the notebook. Soldering Arcade. When adding new software. Okay, well, yeah, that doesn't actually help me. Is that, nope, that's it. All right, <clears throat> 10 out of 10. So we need the, we need the, uh, oh wait, here we go. K oh god, I am not going to remember that. That's random letters. That, that's not going to do anything for me. Let's take a picture. Oop. In the olden days, I had to go find paper and write it down. In my Back in my day, video game hints couldn't be searched or taken photos of. We had to write them down with a good old pen and paper. Kids today don't understand pen and paper. Alright. Enter. Okay, here we go. And the serial code is KM5200. Enter. Yeah? I don't know. Oh, you didn't see that, but I was going like this. Hey! I got I got it to work! <sighs> Alright! You better believe I did. Alright, this is our last one. You have four fun credits left on your cards. Now blast all those nasty barnacles off the ship. Oh, jeez. Okay. Surprisingly, a lot of animations in this one. This must have been a later game. How to play Barnacle Blast. Use the... Oh, uh, so it's Pong. Or not Pong. Pong? Ugh, I don't know. I don't actually know the name of this one, but I think I know what game it is. To control the paddle, use your keyboard. Ball shoot is spacebar. Okay, you can control the angle of the balls with the paddle. Try hitting the ball with different areas of the paddle. Yeah, I know this minigame. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. The faster you blast all the barnacles, the higher your score. Each time the ball drops to the bottom of the screen, you get another one. But if you haven't blasted the barnacles after three balls, the game's over. If you blast all the barnacles in level one, you'll earn a seashell and go on to level two. Blast all the barnacles on level two and get a mermaid. I need both of them, don't I? Bet you I do. Alright, let's do this. Medium. Pff, I don't know why you would give me the option to do hard. I ain't doing hard. Um, okay. Oh, Jesus. I used to be good at this. Obviously, that's not gonna hold true anymore. Oh, yes. That's... Okay, it goes a little farther than I want it to. Which is half the problem. Yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Jesus. Oh, okay. It goes farther than you want it to. I swear to God. It's not like... It's not... Oh, yes. There we go. That's exactly what you want. Which obviously means I'm not getting it. Oh, Jesus. The game lagged a little bit, which... I'm dying to the stupidest... I mean, I haven't, like... I'm dying to the dumbest, like, accidents ever. It's because I just overshoot it and I don't mean to. And I'm trying to get it on the edge, because that's how you really get the thing to shoot far. Is on the edge, see? I had some game that had this mini game. Not this one. I just remember doing this a lot. Alright, now the problem is, and I know this is going to happen, because it- Oh, Jesus! Oh, God, that compensation, because I realized it wasn't- I had overshot it again. No! This is going to take a while. I can already tell. This is going to take a while. I wanted to get it up there. That wasn't going to happen, obviously. Um... Because it restarts every time. Why would you do that? That's just mean. Okay, I'm not going to be fancy with this. We're just going to try and hit these things. Oh, God! Ugh! She says and almost misses. Okay, I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to go with it. Just hit. You don't have to hit in the center. I know you have perfectionist problems, Monica, but you know what? We don't need it. Oh, God. Okay. Dear. Okay. And this is the problem with this game. It is now going to take us 5,000 years and 
Oh god, please yes. Oh, we did it. Thank you. Level 1 complete. You've won the shell token. Get ready for level 2. Great. Oh. Alright. Alright, that didn't go the way that I wanted it to. But hopefully we don't need the mermaid. I'm gonna cry if we need the mermaid. But it always has some really ridiculous minigame. These Nancy Drew games, I love them, but every now and then they have the most like ridiculous minigame ever that is super what's the word I'm looking for? Not required. <laughs> arbitrary. That's what I kinda want, is the word arbitrary. And it's not like it, it it's completely unnecessary. It doesn't really Oh my god, that could have ended very poorly. Nope, we're just gonna go with it. There's a fancy way to get it to go back around without having to do the entire screen, and I ain't doing it. Come on, please, please, please. Oh, end me. This is exactly what I was talking about. It's gonna take us five billion years to get that one now. And I don't wanna be fancy with this stupid ball because... Oh, yes. Thank you. You've won the mermaid token. Game over. Holly freaking Luya. Yep, give them both to me. Thank you. Oh, I got it. See, we needed the mermaid token, too. End me. Do we, need, we didn't even need the seahorse. We needed that mermaid token. I knew we were going to. I was like, I, I know how Nancy Drew works. I need the mermaid token. <clears throat> yeah, we got a harmonica. The music just suddenly got really creepy. <laughs> All right, I got it. You need to get this work done. R right. Sorry. Hey, I'm trying to help you. All right, don't get snippy with me. But now we need to learn the freaking music for the carousel, right? Uh, I imagine if I simply if I go in here, there must be a way for me to learn it, right? Hang on, I need my my employee card. I'm gonna hang on to that other one that we have because I bet we're gonna need it. And there's no there's no Oh, dagnab it. Okay, we have no clue for that, so there's nothing we can do with that. I thought there was something in here. No? Do I need to sit on the carousel again? Does somebody have the music? Moon glow. Is that important? There must be a reason that we're able to see this. Starlight. Yep, we have to know the names of these 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 guys. Okay, well, we could go up to this thing and then just sit on it and listen You're about to the to experience music. The captain's cold carousel. In case you were wondering, you have three fun credits left on your card. Enjoy the ride. Perfect. All right, we're going to go ahead and sit on will be Moon Glow. In three seconds, so hang on tight. And don't forget to try for the brass ring. I ain't trying for no other brass ring. This is it. A free ride to the holder of the brass ring. Oh. Well, Here comes the brass ring. we already have it, Nancy. Oh no, we don't. There's another one. What the heck? I'm not reaching for it. We died the first five times. To be fair, I really like this one. This track. Here it comes again. Nah, we ain't reaching for it, Nancy. Okay, so I don't know if that was enough for Nancy to have learned it, but... <laughs> I did a scale. Okay, we need we need something. I think uh, Ingrid will have the music. I doubt it. Hello, Nancy. How Never goes mind. It? Thanks for your help. You bet. She does not. <laughs> uh, all right. So we have to try and find the music, I guess. Elliot, perhaps. All right, break time. You sure you don't mind? You sure you don't mind? Are you kidding? As long as you're here, I have a legitimate reason for not working. I don't mind one iota. Oh, great. Well, too bad. I'm going to let you get, get back, back to work. work. Thanks a lot. Yeah. 
Well, I tried. Okay, so who haven't we talked to? We haven't talked to this guy. Hey, Nancy, what's up? Never mind. Around. Sounds good. So, how are we supposed to know the music of this? Well, let's go check our to-dos. I'm sure that'll give me an answer. And we can also check our mail while we're here. News from home. More news. Dear Nancy, I went to every single pet store in River Heights, and wouldn't you know, not one of them carries yellow squeaky toys. Togo hasn't budged from in front of the TV cabinet. He still refuses to eat, and I'm getting worried. You know how I fret when you drews don't eat. So I called your father, and he arranged for two men to come over later on today, unplug all those cables and wires, and move the cabinet. He wasn't real happy about it, but I told him it's what you'd want. Aw. How a detective goes about solving a case is dictated by his or her personal style. Take, the, take our quick survey and see what kind of detective you are. If there were a Magellan Award, you'd win it. Because you'd like to tackle every mystery by going absolutely everywhere you can and seeing absolutely everything there is to see. Is that a hint? Face-to-face -face award, you'd take it home. Because there's nothing you'd like better than to interview a suspect interview suspects in person. If they have more, if they have information, so she must have taken the quiz. Phone to face award, you'd get it because you prefer gathering the facts over the phone. The only thing you like better than having someone's phone number is using it. Nine lives, you're not afraid to take risks. You know that all setbacks are only temporary. There's no bigger believer. Jesus, I knocked over my can, but fortunately I just finished it so there's no spill. Puzzle master award, they'd give it to you because puzzles don't puzzle you at all. That's a lie. A Tenacity Award, you never let it go. An Avid Reader Award, you'd win because you read everything you find in the course of your investigation. Books, magazines, maybe I need to go take a look at the book again. And open to suggestions. It would, nothing wrong with asking other people what they think because I ask for hints. That's funny. Next time you find the bad guy closing in on you, remember that you can often escape by distracting him. Direct his attention to something valuable. Why is it a him? Why not a her? Ladies can be bad guys too. Direct his attention to something valuable that you have. Your watch, wallet, purse, even your weapon. Then toss it aside, or if the situation warrants, toss it at your would-be assailant. A moment or two of distraction is usually all the mentally and physically agile detective needs to make a successful escape. Well, we are definitely going to need that. Okay, journal. Never mind. Things to do. Look for the third roll, whatever that means. Oh god, now we have to- well, I know what it means. But where I'm gonna find it is a whole other, whole other piece of problem. Um, what else do we need to do right now? Things to do. Get the letter down. Take a look around Ingrid's while she's not there. Translate the note I found in Joy's office. Figure out the combination to Harlan's locker, which I'm not gonna be able to get into, so, like, why bother? Keep checking email. We'll have been doing that. Okay. Great. So we need to look around Ingrid's when she's not there. But I don't know how we're supposed to get her out of there. So we're probably just going to have to wait until we get an opportunity. Demons of the Haunted House. Well, we need something off of the carousel. Now, one of the problems that we have is there is a, there is a case in there. But that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Because it needs, it needs a, um, a code. How the heck we're going to find a code for it is beyond me. No. I don't think that's going to have what I think it might have. Hmm, okay. No. And we're not able to really talk to anybody, so... Police department? I mean, we could call them and get some information, I guess, but like... That'd be no point. Is there anything... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I get something from here that I can use? There's a ladder. Nancy, take the flippin' ladder. Nancy! Ugh. Sometimes I swear this girl. No? Really? Nothing? Yeah, we definitely should not. 
look at that. I don't know why we would want to. Please don't open that. Sorry, bad habit. Uh, I like that you can just sort of go up to it and do whatever. Oh boy, okay. There's a ladder over there. Oh crap. Okay, I might actually have to call somebody. So let's pull out my cell phone. Let's call some people. Captain's Cove Police Department. Hardy. Pretty sure. Okay, let's try. Let's try dialing. I think this is Ned. Hello. Let's... Hey, Frank. It's Nancy. Never mind. Hey, Joe, pick up. Actually, he may not want to talk to you. Oh, this Why is a Hardy Boys. Because Never mind. I got that so completely backwards. Amusement park. He's so jealous he could spit. Hi, this is Joe. Hey, Joe, it's Nancy. I don't want to talk to you. What did I tell you? Oh, I'm just kidding. Pardon me for a second. I gotta go spit. It's very 50s, 60s around, kind Joe. of characters. He's calling long distance, remember? Sorry. So what's going on? Suddenly stopped is claiming that his neck. Apparently, one of the people who was on the roller coaster when it suddenly stopped is claiming that his neck got injured and has filed a lawsuit. Well, boys and girls, can you say insurance fraud? What if someone is making up a false claim? What if that was his plan all along? Probably And is. what if someone in the park is in on the scheme with him? That person causes the accident, the guy sues, they split the settlement. New word, boys and girls. Can you say motive? <laughs> so we might have two people in this park who are bad guys. That kind of makes a lot of sense, actually. I feel like, I feel like artist dude is behind looking for the uh, the horses. He's going to try and replace them one by one in order to find the horse that has the hidden treasure in it. And I feel like Ingrid, yeah, definitely Ingrid. I think Ingrid is behind the uh, the fraud. Any suggestions as to my next move? Any suggestions as to my next move? That seahorse isn't doing you any good in your pocket. Trade it in for something else. Something in paper, maybe. Um, I better get going. I did not check to see what the other prizes were, did I? See, and that's why you ask for hints. So what does this give me? Ah, none of these are paper. That seahorse in your pocket isn't doing you any good. Nope, I can't get that. I don't know what that is. Okay, well, we can try it, I guess. We'll find out what that is. Where is my seahorse? There it is. Yeah, that ain't no paper. I don't know. Hmm. Oh! Oh, I know why we have that! Why would I put that together? That looked like a kazoo. That didn't look like what that is at all. But I know what to do with it. Thanks, Hardy Boys. I thought that was Ned. I always get them mixed up. The Hardy Boys with Ned, Nancy's boyfriend. I always get that mixed up. Literally all the time. Which is really embarrassing and kind of weird. No, wait. Give me that. Hey, we got it. Amelia Kessler. Oh, we're just gonna open it. That's fine. Uh, okay. The ballroom. That's what was converted into the haunted house. My dearest Amelia, the work goes slowly, but it goes. I just completed the fifth horse, my favorite so far. I call him Foxfire, which is a phosphorus and fungus that grows in rotting wood. Unless you're in Japan, Foxfire is completely different. I've always thought fondly of that name. Every night, music plays in the ballroom above my workshop. Every night, a hundred feet scamper back and forth overhead. When I complained to Dr. Mr. Rousseau, he said that if I worked in the daytime like everyone else, there would be no music to bother me. He doesn't understand that I can only work when the world is as I feel. Dark, dangerous, unknowable. But you understand, my darling wife. You are the only person on earth who has ever understood ev uh, everything that can be understood about me. Guess my you. workshop would have been under what's now the haunted house. I wonder if it's still there. I bet it is. The radiator still stands guard outside the door to my workshop, as cold and heavy as my heart, awaiting your return. You must come back to me, Amelia. Your father was loath to give me your address. I promised him things will be better, as I promised you, if, when, you return. But what if you don't read this? 
What if it comes back unopened? Or worse, what if it never comes back and neither do you? The rejection would be unbearable. Perhaps I shall mail this letter tomorrow, but I know now that I cannot mail it today, my beloved. I don't have the courage. I cannot take the risk. I love you too much. That is really, really, really sad. I, he never sent it, obviously. Oh, excuse me while my heart breaks. Well, this just got really sad. So it's underneath the haunted house, and he said the boiler room was where, where his office was hidden. Someone's down there. We need to find the boiler room. Which has got to be in here, right? There it is. That symbol looks familiar. Yeah, it does. All right, hang on. It's locked. Interesting. And how are we going to unlock it's it? Locked. Okay, thanks. So we need a key. Who would have the key? Ten bucks, it's Ingrid. Ingrid has the key. She had a whole bunch of stuff around her desk. How are we going to get in this? With this? It's locked. No. I don't know why I thought that was going to work. Dang it. How are we going to find that? Why did the music get creepy? Hmm. It's either Elliot or Ingrid that has the key. Hey, Nance. What's going on? Okay, we're just gonna tell him about it. Found this strange hidden door in the haunted house. Problem is, it's locked. Do you have any idea what's behind it? Ask Joy. That nutty professor father of hers always had these little secret projects going in the park, even after he sold his interest. Miss Santos didn't have the heart to boot him out. I'll mm. let you get back to work. If you must. <laughs> well, I guess we need to ask Joy. I, for some reason, I felt like she really would not know. But let's see. It makes I sense. I really do need to get this work done. R right. Okay, never Sorry. mind. Never mind, then. Alright, we could ask the security guard. I mean, he does have, like, the keys, right? Oops, there we go. Let's ask him. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I found an old letter in the gear room of the carousel. It was written by the guy who carved all the horses, Rolf Kessler. Is it okay if I keep it? As far as I'm concerned, I'll mention it to Miss Santos, see what she says. Kessler used to have a workshop under what's now the haunted house. Have you ever been down there? I didn't even know there was a down there there. Oh, God. So you don't know anything about the hidden door in the room that has the old radiator in it? Sure don't. Never heard any of the other guards say anything about it either. I'll see you around. Have fun. Hmm. And they thought I wasn't going to find this? I feel, like, I feel like I was invited here and not a lot of people knew what was going on when they invited me. All right, let's ask Ingrid. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Did you know that the man who carved the carousel horses had a workshop under what's now the haunted house? How appropriate, considering Kessler's belief in the supernatural and all. What? I heard these strange sounds. I heard some strange sounds the last time I was in there. They seem to be coming from below. That's odd. I've been doing a lot of work in there lately, and I haven't heard any strange noises. So either your ears are better than mine, or your imagination is. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I discovered, I discovered a haunted door. A hidden, a hidden door. door in the haunted house. Is that right? Unfortunately, it's locked. It's obvious you don't put much stock in curses. But a word to the wise, there really do exist some doors that no one should open. I'd be very careful if I were you. She doesn't want me in Thanks there. Thanks for your help. You bet. Okay, ten bucks. Ten bucks says if I go over to the haunted house. It's locked. Dagnabbit. Okay, cool. So there's no noises right now. Interesting. We can pop back out. I want to see, I want to check, I want to see something. Dang it, there's no noises again. I'm wondering what I can do to activate the noises. I want to see if I go to the haunted house, right? It's locked. Dang it. Um, and I hear the noises, and I just book it straight for Ingrid. If she's going to be there. She might not be. If she's the one who's down there working, she may not be. 
All right, let's, oops, this is Ingrid's. That is the Midway Games. I don't know what causes the noises. I don't know what the, I do know that it makes a point to make this creaking noise, that one. So it's gotta be like, people know that I'm here, right? Let's try again, I guess. It's locked. All right, Nancy. She's still there. Okay, so it's not her. And it's not him. Do they have some really fast way of getting back to their office? Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes that is legitimately how this works. Huh. <laughs> what? Am I missing something? Let's check the to-do. Right. Things to do. Find the key to that hidden door by the radiator. What? Well, we know there are a couple things that we need to do that may line up with this. And one of those is specifically to check out Ingrid's. Right? She's here. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Thanks for your help. Remember, niacin. All right, all right, all right. I got it. There's a bag there. She really wants a nice car. You can't go through that. Uh, I believe that's mine. Right. Sorry. Yeah, we should probably not do that. All right. Let's go. I really do need to get this work done. R right. Sorry. And is there something I'm missing, perhaps? Oh, heck. I took the long way around. Uh, alright. Let's try calling someone again. We're reaching the point where I wind up calling people. We can call Bass. We can call Miss San- Oh, let's call Miss Santos. Why not? She knows about the park. Paula Santos. Hi, Paula. Nancy, what's going on? What can you tell me about the people working in the park during the shutdown? There's this locked door in the haunted house. There's this house. locked door in the haunted house that I'd really like to open. Would you by any chance know where the key is? I have no idea. You really shouldn't go in there unless it's absolutely necessary. It Parts is. Parts of that building are very old, almost rickety. You need to be very careful. I could die. That's, that, there are going to be some options to die in there. Good to know. Is it true that Captain's Cove is being sued by someone who got hurt in the roller coaster accident? The part about being sued is true, but I don't think the guy got hurt. I think he's just saying that so he can try to squeeze money out of our insurance company. Definitely what's happening. I agree. When will the insurance company be sending someone when else? When will the insurance company be sending someone out to investigate the roller coaster accident? Every time I call, I get the same thing. Someone will be out soon. Which is why I'd really like you to take a look, Nancy. No telling when they'll get around to it. I understand hmm. Joy's father used to come and go as he pleased, even after he sold you his interest in Captain's Cove. I didn't see any harm. He loved to putter. Especially in the haunted house. Wonderful imagination, but when it came to dealing with reality, barely knew where to begin. I wonder if the key is what we get for answering Miles' thingamajigs. I found some notes that were written in shorthand. Would you happen to know any stenographers? No. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever even met a stenographer. Now that we're in the computer age, stenography has pretty much become extinct. Hmm. What can you tell me about the people working? Okay. I'll be in touch. Good. All right, well, that was pointless. I guess we could call that. I don't really know, though. Let's try calling the Hardy Boys again. They're detectives. They have answers. Hello? Hey, Joe, it's Nancy. Frank, phone, it's Nancy. How's it going? Well, I haven't solved the case yet. Great. Uh, I mean, oh, what a shame. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. What's up? Has either of All you right. ever heard of a guy named Rolf Kessler? Let's get some answers. Rolf Kessler. Oh, jeez. name is kind of familiar. Give me a minute. It'll come to me. Don't let him fool you, Nance. He's sitting at his computer madly typing Rolf Kessler into a search engine. Uh-huh. Rolf Kessler carved carousel horses in the early part of the 20th century. Very eccentric. Said if anyone separated his horses once they were part of a carousel, 
bad luck would follow. Jesus. Let me guess. That's who carved the carousel at Captain's Cove. Yes. You got it. I found a letter that he wrote but never mailed to his estranged wife, Amelia. He was eccentric, all right. So there might be something to this curse stuff after all. Frank, I'm shocked. You've always said there is no such thing as curses. What I mean is, whoever is responsible for these carousel hauntings obviously knew something about Kessler. He's the key, Nan. Kessler's the key. Well, I need Any help. Any suggestions as to my next move? <laughs> well, if I were a band organ tune, I'd probably be somewhere in the vicinity of the band organ. I don't know where that is. <laughs> get going. Let us know what happens. All right. Yeah, but like, ugh, gosh darn it. All right, hang on. Let's try calling Bess. Her best friend. I know a little too much about these. I never read the Hardy Boys. Hey, Bess, it's Nancy. Oh, hey, Nancy. Whoa, you were obviously hoping I was someone else. Well, kinda. Okay. Okay, so who is he and where'd you meet him? Oh, Nancy, his name's Matt. And he is so <laughs> cute. He works the concession stand at the movie theater in the mall. And here's a George. Cute guy with an endless supply of gummy bears and butter flavoring. Right at its fingertips. We're talking major crush. So hey, best George, good. There we go. There too. Barely. I almost got caught standing between Bess and the phone just now. When it rings, she's like a one-woman cattle stampede. I love them so much. Bess and George are her best friends and typically follow her on her adventures, but not in the games, just in the books. So, do you have time to talk? Do you have time to talk? I mean, I don't want to mess up this Matt thing. Of course we have time to talk. I'm dying to hear what's going on. Besides, if Matt tries to call me and gets a busy signal, that's a good thing. He'll think I'm popular. Fill us oh, in, God. Nance, quick, before Bess's logic starts getting really twisted and I get nauseous. Okay, I met the security guard Harlan. Uh, I think I might. Ah, oh, Jesus! Somebody stole that horse. Okay, we already know stuff about that. There was a brochure for a sports car in Ingrid's work area. There was a brochure for a sports car in Ingrid's work area. The Pandora 2XS. That is like the hottest car ever. One of the most expensive, that's for sure. She must make a ton of money. Either that, or she's about to come into a ton of money. Hmm. The engine oil thickens. What? Um, okay, let's see. I need you guys to do something for me. I found some stenography notes. I need you guys to do something for me. I found some stenography notes that I'd really like to translate. Only, I don't know shorthand. Neither do I. We'll do some research and get right back to you. Kicking. I barely know how to spell stenography, let alone research it. We'll call you when we're through. We can do this, Bess. What is with all this we stuff? I love them. I finally met Elliot Chen. Almost got creamed by the roller coaster. Found a very odd looking device under the carousel. I'm willing to bet that is the reason. I found out that after Joy's mother died, she was so distraught that she destroyed every single picture of her mother that her father had. Okay, got just give me hints. For me in the way of hints. Yeah, call the Hardy Boys. They'd never admit it, but I don't think they're doing much these days. Catch you guys later. Hasta la vista. You're doing great. All the hardy boys, she says. All right, let's go looking for this organ somehow. I would have thought that the organ would be in here, right? The band organ. Rolf Kessler, 1914. But it doesn't seem like it is. It just sort of seems like there's machinery in here and not much else. See? I mean, we could crawl down here and see if there's anything. Unless it's this, but I need a code to get into this. And I don't have that. Unless it's like really, really easy. Oh, Jesus. Okay, it wasn't 1914 like I was hoping it would be. We don't have anything on how this thing works, and typically, Nancy Drew is the type of game that gives you everything in order to. Ah, oh, boy. 
Wait, no. Or unless, isn't this the, oh my god, I'm so stupid. Alright, I found it. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna have to call Tink, whoever he is. All right, let's call Tink. Ah, that was it. What's the phone call stuff? Yeah, yeah, this is Tink. Yes, hello. My name is Nancy Drew. I never heard of you. Yes, I know. I'm trying to help Ms. Santos figure out what caused the roller coaster accident that shut down Captain's Cove. Among well, other call things. Me. I run the carousel. I don't know from coasters. Well, to make a long story short, I need to find out the name of the band organ song that's on the third roll. What for? It's where the long story part comes in. That's kind of where the long story part comes in. I haven't got time for long stories. Besides, that how was do the point. I know you even know Miss Santos? I've got her number. Yeah, this is a good point right here. Okay, to get your number, I had to get the band organ open, right? And to get the band organ open, I had to have an access card. And to get an access card... You'd have to know Ms. Santos. Yeah, 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 I get your point. Problem is, I got no idea what song's on the third roll. Only way you're gonna find out is to play it. Does a band organ still play paper rolls? Does a band organ still play paper rolls? You bet. Just flip the switch from CD to roll. Of course, you're gonna need roll three, ain't you? It's in the cabinet in the gear room. You mean the cabinet that's locked? You mean the one that's locked? 18, 9, 39. That's a combination. Oh, and one more thing. You're going to have a problem when you go to load the roll on account of... Holy moly! I either snagged a greyhound bus or the biggest fish in the Chapelo River is right here at the end of my line! <laughs> I'm sorry, hon, I gotta go! What? Okay, I did not hear that last part. Okay. Well, we know 18939. I did not hear what he said. Oh, boy. 18939? How the hell am I supposed to get that? Like this? Let's see. Miles said the song is on the third roll. This must be it. Okay. Excellent. Well, that surprisingly worked. I did not know what I was doing, and also I missed half of that. Also, I held this up because it's still wrapped in plastic, so the first pen that I grabbed was not even available to me. Um, what? This looks a little like the inside of my aunt's player piano. The take-up dowel is broken. Of course it is. Awesome. So, we need to ask somebody to fix this dowel. Now, we do have an artist on hand, so we can go... Oh, for the love of God, no, just get off, get off, thank you. <laughs> Um, we can go ask Elliot. He is an artist. Oh, hello. Hi, Nancy. KJ Paris. I got some preliminary info on that. Must be going in the right direction. Great. Let's hear it. Okay. Before he died, he got to be real good buddies with his cellmate at New Jersey State Prison. And his cellmate was paroled less than two months ago. There's a new guy on this lot, in there. God, the plot thickens. Everyone's a bad guy at this point. Uh, do you have any you idea have what any he looks idea like? Do you have any idea what he looks like? Dark hair, medium build, clean shaven, heavy Jersey accent. Like I said, I'm still in the process of making calls. I just thought I'd let you know what I had so far. Thanks, Detective. You've been a big help. Huh. Hey, Nance. What's going on? Uh, let's see. I need a I dowel. I need to make a dowel to replace this broken one from the band organ. Would it be alright if I used your equipment? I won't make a mess. I promise. Sure. Got a lathe, wooden rods, safety goggles. Knock yourself out. I gotta go run an errand, though, so try not to cut off any appendages until I get back. Wait, he's gone? Like, gone, gone? Oh, snoopage. Snoopage. Why is he looking at how to make a seahorse? Probably for no reason. 
All right, that didn't seem to actually be very important to me whatsoever, but we did take a look at his art. It's a poppy dada. I'm sorry, a whaty whata? The hell is a poppy dada? Well, he does have a lot of seahorses in this room, doesn't he? All right. Collector's hot sheet. Antique instruments, hot or not. Hmm, if Elliot wrote this guy's number down, maybe I should too. Oh, I like this. I can move this around. Don't just get a horse, get a Kessler. So he wants the Kessler horses. works of art. To treat them as anything less says more about us and our blind allegiance to conventional artists. Black rose can be found carved on ev every horse that Kessler ever modeled. Interesting. So that's going to be important for sure. Wait, 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 wait. Something about Amelia. After marrying Rolf in 1909, Amelia said it was as impossible for her not to love him as it was for her to live with him. That's a bit sad, isn't it? Awesome. Well. Didn't we pick these up at one point? I don't know why I would need this, but uh, I have access to it, so... How the heck he... Is it this thing? Yes, it's this thing. Isn't it? To carve a new dowel, I'm going to need a piece of wood. Well, excuse me. All right. And here's a piece of wood. Excellent. <laughs> Where is it? Thank you. Uh. Well, I don't know. This is a lot of information and uh, that I do not have. Like, how come I can pull this all the way over here? I don't have any of this information. How am I supposed to be able to make these dowels? I bet you the information was on the on the carousel, wasn't it? All right, let's save, I guess. I'm just gonna put nothing there. That's good. That works. All right. Oh god. Hello. Hi Nance. We found some stuff on stenography. Oh, so now it's we, huh? Okay. I know there's a reason to call these girls. Surprise, but I helped. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. So go back to the hotel and check your laptop. We emailed a little tutorial to you. But you got to promise to let us know what the note you translate says. I promise. Thanks again, you guys. Eh. All right, cool. Well, we can go do that real quick since that's something that I know how to do. The music gets uh, creepy once again. Stenography information. Oh. Dagnabbit, can I just look at the review? <laughs> oh boy, I don't have paper. It's another one of those uh, incidents where I don't know really what I'm doing. Ew, why is that sticky? Okay, apparently something spilled in here. Do I have paper around here? I have pian- oh. Alright, this'll do, I guess. Ugh. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Where did this come from? Unit 3, pieces with easy ac accompaniments. Blank paper. Okay. Oh, gosh darn it. I, I, gra I grabbed the pen that once again is, is covered in plastic. How do I open this thing? I need it. I need I need usage. Are these things supposed to have perforated like lines so that you can easily undo it? This does not. <laughs> Join Darkovica for a tutorial on how to get plastic off of brand new markers that have never been used. Actually, this is not brand new because I don't remember purchasing this marker, so God knows how long it's just been sitting in this plastic. Oh my god, I'm gonna like scream. Exhilarating, exciting footage of Nancy Drew 
a carnival game that approximately 20 people are gonna watch because it's, you know, each episode's like literally an hour long. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I need I need to be able to put the cap back on so that, oh God, that plastic's gonna come off. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> got it. <laughs> now I have a pen. All right, so we've got this, which is S, this, which is A, tiny, which is E, a really long line, which is M. This was easier? It's like learning a whole new language. All right, this weird thing is O. This longer weird thing is R. This loopy long thing is L. Two O's is a... Oh god, I, I did this incorrectly. All right, there we go. And then upside down loopy thing is K. And upside down long loopy thing is G. Yeah, I ain't gonna remember none of that. All right, see, please see your software vendor for additional installments. Great. All right, well, let's take a look at the scenography then. Not that one. Visa one. Okay. We have this, right? So we have a K. And then that. Right? So it goes like this. And then it has an under. Is that an R? That kind of looks like an R. It's not long enough. And then it's got a little squiggle. Little upside down squiggle, which is O O, and then a what? What is that symbol? And there's a little O. Oh, is that an E? That looks like f okay. What are the two lines? What is that one? That's what I have. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. August the third. Oh wait, is a is a period the two? You know, I could probably learn literally everything I need to know from this, from what I have here. So this is August, is it? What? That doesn't look like anything. It's just taught me about. How was that you? How was that you? That's two O's. That's this symbol. Oh god, I'm trying to do this and it's mirrored. It, that's this symbol, and this symbol is two O's. How is that you? Oh, hecky dosecky. Alright, let's start from the beginning. Steno is the stenograph or stroke from S is a small comma. The stroke is also used for the sound of a Z. So this is an S or a Z. The sound for A, as in May or Day, is presented by a small circle. Below is shorthand for the word say. You'll notice that the stroke for... Oh my god, what? <laughs> that is shorthand for say? I guess if you can remember this, it is faster than writing three letters is on top of the stroke for A. Some words in stenography are read from top to bottom and some from left to right. So top to so we have to figure out if ours is top to bottom or if it's left to right. I will say like puzzles like this are really freaking cool. Like in Nancy Drew, like this is this is way different than the little mini games that we played earlier. This is like straight up I have to use my actual brain, my l actual existing brain. Shorthand for ace. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Hang on. So this is obviously top to bottom. So we have this and then we have that. And this is the word say. So that is because S looks like that. And then the O is A. So that would be stenogra stenography for say. Okay, I got it. So top to bottom. Shorthand for ace is written with the a stroke on top of the s stroke because it's not actually you're not it's not a literal language jesus christ what a stink all right um i'm not supposed to say that anymore so it, this is ace because we have the circle on top and that on the bottom and that's literally pronounced the way that it's said because short is based on the sound of the word 
letters that are not pronounced are left out. So the word say only includes the strokes for S and A, it does not include a stroke for Y. Similarly, the word ace only includes the strokes for the sound A and S and not an E. You'll notice the stroke for S is used instead of a C because the sound C makes is an S sound. Jesus Christ. We learn the strokes for S and A sound. We also learn that the letters are not pronounced, known as silent letters, and are not written. The lower words, below each word, type the letter that is not pronounced. Y. A. Oi. So this is May. So we say Y. Correct. Awesome. We'll say E, because that's silent. Snow. So is this W. Excellent. What? All right, shorthand stroke for E sound is a smaller circle than the stroke for A. Oh yeah, that's not confusing. <laughs> um, so C is like this. Oh, I made that really small, but <laughs> I drew it on my paper so that I have my notes because I take notes on everything, and it just looks like a question mark. <laughs> And then say is a bigger circle. All right, that makes sense to me. Shorthand stroke for N is a very short forward straight line. The stroke for M is twice as long. Do we have N on here? Yeah, we do. So, all right. A short line and then a circle for day. But knee would be a short line and then a teeny tiny circle. Ah, I'm starting to get it. All right, keep going. You know the strokes for E, N, and M. Below are some words for these strokes. Type in the correct words. So that, the really long one, so this is me. Yeah. The hell? Oh my god, what is that? Oh, uh, alright, we have an S. We have... Fits down. Sane? I think it's sane. I feel so smart right now. All right, hang on. <laughs> M E N. Men. Men? Don't be rude. All right, hang on. Mean? Oh, that's probably what it is. Yep. All right. This is very specific. What would happen if I spelled it the way that it was said? Anyways, this is name. Jeez. Oh man, look at this guys, I'm learning stenography. The shorthand stroke for O is a very small deep hook. The stroke for R is a short for is a short forward curve and the stroke for I L L? Yeah. It's a longer forward curve. Okay, so we've learned a lot of these, but I'm gonna write them down just so that I, I'm a writing type of person. I need to remember. So, okay, so O is that like little U, right? So we have this, and then we have a U, and this is supposed to be so. And then this is no. That almost looks like two, that looks like three different things. But it's not. It's just two. It's just the comma on the little curve. Good lord. Alright, so then we have this thing, and that's Ray. And that's because we have R, which is a short forward curve. Ray. And then A at the end. So this is a left to right. This just changed up the entire thing. God, gosh darn it. Of course they did. Well, this one's top to bottom because you have the S on top and then you have this on the bottom. This is left to right. Gosh darn it. Okay, I feel like it's left to right because it's a line and you can't have top to bottom on a line, right? It's gotta be, that's gotta be why. Note that or or ol is written with a sideways stroke for O. This is done to make the stroke more fluid. Why would you, why would you do that? That just makes things complicated. So this is or, and this is, oh god, I did not make those correct. <laughs> okay, that's ol. Okay, 
So you now you know the strokes for O, R, and L. God, this is a literal actual lesson going on right now. We are actually learning stenography. <laughs> oh, okay, below are some words using these strokes. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted to edit out all of this, but it's kind of cool. And I feel like you guys would enjoy this part. Like, maybe not so much the stupid brainless minigames, but the this is cool. So type in the correct word in short in longhand below each steno st stenograph. Steno stenograph or steno- No, it's gotta be stenograph. Okay. So we've got this. That's an M. That's an O. Right? M. O. Is that a long one or a short one? That looks like a long one. So, mole. This makes me feel so smart. Okay. <laughs> so, that is an S. For sure. S. O. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. Sail. That's an A. That's a really long one. So, that's gotta be sail. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, I'm sorry. Um. So, this is a short one. So, that's N. Oh, I'm not even writing these down. I need to make these notes so that I remember. <laughs> okay. And then this is an M. No, just kidding. N. Okay. This is an N. What was the little one? E. L. Meal. That is so cool. Okay, I feel really smart. <laughs> You're making good progress. Please continue to the next lesson. Lesson four. Oh my god, please no. Okay, so in lesson three, you learned that the oo sound, as in two, is represented by a tiny upward hook. So that was an o. So that's like mole, mole, specifically o. So now we have oo. So rule. Does these notes are the worst thing ever. <laughs> I can see why this would be short, shorthand, because it's literally just squiggles. Um, so we have R, which is that curve, and then we have U, which is the upper curve, right? Because it's two O's. And then we have uh, L, which is the long one, so rule. Ah, gosh darn it. I spelled it wrong which is the way that it's pronounced and then i tried to put in parentheses what the actual word is and i still spelled it wrong good job what are the two tiny lines notice the double lines that means that the word should be capitalized <gasps> there we go that's what we needed capitalized you actually have to go through all of this. I think I'm getting this. The strokes of K and G are similar are similar to the U stroke. The K stroke is twice as large as the U stroke, and the G is stroke is twice as large as the K stroke. Freaking luck with that. All right. <clears throat> so, I, okay, I'm gonna assume that I know this and not write all of this down. Now that you know the strokes for U, K, and G, test your knowledge of these strokes by doing that. So this is a really long one. So that's gotta be G. Right? And then, um, it goes down quite a bit. Glue? I feel like this is glue. Ten bucks, it's glue. It's not glue. <laughs> so again, it's big. It's, but is it big enough? Well, it looks big enough, doesn't it? Alright, G. Well, that looks like L, because L is a really long under one. And then we have the little one, which is O. Oh, there's glow in it. Um, and then we have that. Glory. E. Yeah, it's glory. <laughs> I got it. I don't got it. All right, so this is a long one. So that is also a G. And then we have go. I feel like that is also because remember, no, no, it's not. It's not. It's R. Grew. What is that? Oh, A. Gray. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my god, that is really cool. Okay, so now we have our. We can go in and do our stenography mini game. 
Jesus. All right. I got no space. This is my notes. I literally took notes on everything. That's just... In college, I was literally known for my notes. Like, people would legitimately come up to me after missing class to figure out what they missed. Okay, so we have... Right? This is a name. So we have... That. That. And then... It's gotta be capitalized. So what is that? That looks like it is a K, personally. But is that really big? Oh, I like how they just wrote out CCAP over here and RE. <laughs> I need to see how big their other Gs are. G. Agreed. Uh. That is not a big G. Alright, I'm gonna pretend it's a G for now. And then we have the under one. And that's a, that's a pretty big... I don't... I feel like that's not a G. Because we know... Sell the horse name. Glow. We know, we know a horse that has the name Glow in it. It's a sell the horse named G-L. We have this. The only thing that matches that is... Ooh, glue, and then there's a little one, glor, glue, glory. Okay, again, I'm, I'm incorrect. This cannot be right. There's no other thing that has a little. I have an idea. Gosh darn it. Nancy, leave the computer. Alright, I have an idea. <laughs> We're gonna cheat ever so slightly because for some reason I cannot figure that out for the life of me. And we know one of these horses has the name that we are looking for. Moon Glow. Glow. Okay, that horse's name is Moon Glow. No, 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 no. Come back. What are you doing? Stop that. No? Okay. It's only like two horses. Starlight. So there's Moon Glow, and then there's. Okay, hang on. So we have this. To sell the horse named. Well, it can't be M, because M is a line. So we, we know that this is G. L seems to make the most sense here. L. Then that is supposed to be OO. But it ends in an O! This is what's confusing me. Glue... Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna roll with this. Glory. I'm gonna go with the glory. The carousel horse is glory. That's the word that I thought I was 100% positive that it was. But, like, this right here? That was what was throwing me off. It had to be glory. But there isn't... Wait, no. This is moon glow. So who's glory? Oh wait, obviously the stolen horse, right? I bet it's this one. I will bet a hundred bucks that it is that one. Oh wait, actually, real quick. Let's take a look. Oh well, no, look, you can see the, the black rose on some of these, right? That's cool. <clears throat> okay, so we figured out that the name of the- I really do need to get this work done. R right, sorry. So we, well, we have that information, but I don't know what to do with it. Also, I do, ugh, God, I keep doing that. I keep going the long way. We did actually need to go back here and figure out if there was something here that told me this, the not the name, the size of the dowel that we need. Because I was this not. This takes an employee access card. All right, don't get smart with me, Nancy. I know. Um, all right, let's open this and see if it has some kind of, No! Can I take the good dowel? How the hell am I supposed to measure this? Oh. This is where the air comes out. That's kind of cool. Alright, obviously I'm gonna need to write that down. So that's gonna be a pain in the butt. Okay, no, Nancy. 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 Thank you. Alright. 
Someone needs to tell me what the measurements of this dowel is because I have nothing. Maybe it's in the book. You think it's in the book on carousels? Coney Island. No, I don't remember there being anything specific in here about the size of the dowel. Should I call the Hardy Boys? I don't have any information about this freaking dowel. I don't want to make too many mistakes. All right, heck it. Let's call the let's call the Hardy Boys. See what they have to say. Hello. Hey Frank, it's Nancy. I'm on too, Nance. What's new? Any, any suggestions? suggestions as to my next move? Getting into that band organ may take a little engineering. Better go see Miss You Are What You Eat. Okay. Yeah. I don't suppose you guys have ever repaired a band organ. You mean an organ like they play in a rock band? I mean an organ that plays carousel music. Does it have wheels and an engine? Uh, no. Then it's safe to say we've never repaired one. I better get going. See you, Nance. Don't Thanks a lot, guys. Vehicles. They were in the last one that I played too. I love I, I love all of this. Like I know this probably seems like a really weird thing to like be in love with. I can't reread these books though because they're too they're a little they they have not it's aged locked. well. It's locked. Oh, wait, what? Armed. She's not there. Do I have anything that I can use to Oh no. No 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 no. No, you back the hell up. All right. Yes. <laughs> That's going to go badly for sure. What is the code? Maybe I can call Who's this? Sukov Anton. All right, let's call her. Maybe she'll have the code that we need to get in. This is perfect. We have the prime opportunity Paula to go Parker. snoop. Hi, Paula. Nancy, what's going on? Do you know who Tink is? Sure. Tink Obermeyer. Operates the carousel. Real protective of it. When it was vandalized, it almost broke his heart. Loves the band organ, too. Right now, he's up in Canada fishing. I'll be in touch. You'd better. Oh, dang it. I want to get in here, but I don't know how. Now, in the past, I've been able to use dust to get fingerprints for a code, but is this like a temporary thing? Can I, really I ask? Need to get this work done. We'll you are right. completely Sorry. no help to me. I just want you to know that. You are literally no help to me. Maybe Harlan knows? They're all gone? All of them. All of them are gone. Yeah. That's not suspicious at all. Wait, why is this like this? 101190? Captain's Harlan Bishop. Is that the code for his locker? Why are they all gone? That is suspicious. That is very suspicious. Literally all of them are gone. One... Oh, one, one, nine, zero. Oh my god, it worked? I don't know why I keep expecting it to not. Haircut? Lewis G. Wonder who that is. Best way to find out is to call him. Really? That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna call a dude that we found in his literal actual address book. Oops. Oh, gosh darn it. I wasn't done looking. Thank you. Is that everything? Must be. Oh. Oh. What is that? Oh, the plot thickens. Oh, we're getting to the good stuff now. Alright, let's figure out what this tape is, shall we? Looks like something may have been tampered with. Oh, here we go. It looks like zero seven two six zero seven two six. 
I better put this back where I found it. Yeah, we better. 0726. I really hope I remembered that correctly. Because just because I just said it does not mean that I'm going to remember. <laughs> also, I'm glad I did not have to use the code that time for some odd reason. Is there anything else here that I need to see? I don't think so. I did get quite a lot out of that. Got the code. Alright, now we're really getting into the sleuthing. 0726. Oh, yes. How did she just buy this? That's weird. How does she have something like that? Oh, hello. Wow, that's one expensive watch. $20,000 watch? Paid in cash. And she's working at a carnival. Uh huh. My foot. Alright. Good to know. Call LH about results. LH. Lance Huffington, maybe? Hmm. I really hope she's writing these down. Because I I'm not. I'm gonna take I don't know why. I am assuming she's not taking a picture of this. Or she didn't write that down, so I'm going to. Alright. I think we have snooped a fair bit, and I'm scared of being in here for too long. They're all of them. All three of them are not in here. They're not around. And that is exceptionally suspicious. Except for our young lady, Joy. She's the only one who is around. Okay, I don't think I missed anything. We got some phone calls to make. Let's go to the captain's quarters where no one can overhear me. Let's do... Tink. Marvin. LH. Dial. Talk to me. Yes, hi. Um, is this Lance Huffington? You betcha. Who's this? Well, I'm Nancy Drew. I work with Ingrid Corey. I'm kind of her unofficial assistant here at the park. She tells me everything. Oh, yeah? Uh-oh. She asked me to call you for a status report. Everything's great. Her plan worked. I'm glad she shared it with me. Life's good. <laughs> at least it will be when the trial's over and the settlement's in the bank. Whoa, speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm due in court. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Nancy. Well, Nancy, next time you call me, you could very well be talking to a multi-millionaire. Ta-ta. Bye. Ha. Looks like we have some very good information. Okay, so that's who that was. G. Lewis. That must be from Dude Bro with the security tape. State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said... State Board of Parole, Luis Guerra's office. You mean Mr. Guerra works with people who've just been released from you prison? You mean Mr. Guerra works with people who've just been released from prison? That's correct. But he's out of the office right now. Would you like to leave a message? Maybe you can help me. Do you know if he has a client named Harlan Bishop? Yes, he does. Is Harlan up to something he shouldn't be? Would you happen to... When was I he paroled? I didn't say that, but when was he paroled? Do you know? You're going to have to wait and ask Mr. Guerra that question. What was the name? Nancy Drew. My number is 523 We just give everybody five, our name. Five, five, four, three, nine, nine. That's my cell phone. He can call me anytime. I'll let him know. Thank you. Alright, looks like we have quite a bit of people trying to embezzle this poor, this poor amusement park. So, there's like two different plots going on here. I am like 80% positive. Um, the only thing that I do not have is information on how to fix that stupid dowel. Hello? Hi, it's Paula. Just thought I'd check in, see how you're doing. Actually, I'm kind of glad you called. Why? What's going on? I'm afraid I've discovered something kind of disturbing about Harlan. What, that he's an ex-con? I know. You do? You do? It was the first thing out of his mouth when he applied for the job. He said being an outstanding security guard would prove to everyone once and for all that he's gone straight. I also found out that he used a security camera to get the code to Ingrid's work area. And he fit the description of the jewel thief's cellmate that Detective Paris gave me. Oh, now that's disturbing. 
But I'm still going to give Harlan the benefit of the doubt until I have good reason not to. I appreciate your bringing this to my attention, though. All right. That is really Goodbye, sweet, Paula. actually. That's really kind of her. And she's back. All right. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Are we really just going to say that to her? I'm going to die. Thanks All right, let's help. not. No let's not. Deal. Let's not and say we did. <laughs> that is actually going to get us killed, Nancy, for heaven's sake. I'm just going to save real quick because I haven't saved in a really long time. And for some reason, bringing up the fact that I know that Hello, she Nancy. knows Lance Huffington I understand seems like a bad idea. Who got hurt in that roller coaster accident. Lance Huffington? I, I've talked to him. I don't really know him. How did you meet him? How did you meet him? Look, what are you getting at? I was just wondering if maybe you... <laughs> he gets on the roller coaster, you shut off the power, the coaster stops suddenly, he cries whiplash, as soon as park, you show the settlement. I'm just gonna say this. I was just wondering if maybe you and he are in cahoots. Are you suggesting that he and I planned the accident? He gets on the coaster, I shut off the power, he cries whiplash and gives me half of whatever he gets from the lawsuit? Interesting theory. Unfortunately, it's totally wrong. I called him to tell him to rub his neck three times a day with witch hazel and lavender. If his neck is really injured, that will cure it. Why are you so eager to accuse me of something? Hmm. Oh God, this is so obvious that we snooped. I don't want to go into this. All right, let's because try this you one. You seem to have a lot of money, far more than the park pays you. I can't help but wonder where it's coming from. All right. I have been making money on the side, but it's not what you think. I've been helping someone design a roller coaster. I even let him borrow the blueprints for our coaster so he could study them, not steal them. I kept it secret because it could be construed as conflict of interest. This it is a I'm conflict of interest. Risk, so he pays me very well. Now, your turn. It's obvious that you've been nosing around in here. How did you get in? Someone made a tape of you entering your security code into the keypad outside. Which I just happened to see. Harlan. I knew it bugged him that this place was off limits, but spying on me? That guy's got a real problem. As for you, I'd appreciate it if you would kindly remove your nice and deficient little self from my office. I have work to do. All right. Well, that went better than I was thinking it might go. <laughs> She's aware of me now. Oh, he's still gone. That's interesting. Well, that's because I haven't finished doing the... Oh, I'm stupid, aren't I? I am stupid. All right. <clears throat> this suddenly makes sense. The ruler that I completely forgot existed from the first video. Um, so the dowel is about the okay. The wooden bit. All right, that's not how that's spelled, but whatever. Creepy music. Two point five inches about, and then the entire thing itself is. Uh, the entire thing is seven. Wait a minute, no, that's just where it was broken. I'm stupid. Alright, hang on. So the entire thing itself appears to be about 14 inches. So each dowel is more or less two point... Or not dowel, the whole thing is called a dowel. I'm being ridiculous. Oh, hello. Those look like horse tails. Whoa. That's interesting. Someone appears to be making horses, don't they? I love how everyone was like, yeah, there's a detective walking around and just didn't think to cover their trails for some obscure obscene unknown reason it's really odd all right look i need it's oh. all fun and games until somebody loses an eye okay i could have i probably would have died from that i prop i probably would have died yep uh no actually we are gonna save in a new slot again because i don't trust that telling her that we knew that we had snooped through all of her things was a good thing to do <laughs> do we have the glasses on can i can i put the glasses on please to carve a new dowel, I'm going to need a piece of wood. Never mind. So we need to put this in here. Okay, put it in. Good. Uh, no. So I guess what we're saying is it's two inches. Now, why the hecky doseki can I change this? Because I don't know what that means. Uh, I don't think I did this right. Mm. 
Now, at this point, I'm just trying to figure out what the heck this means. Okay, so clearly that's the one that, that I need. doesn't look right. No, it doesn't. But that's fine. We'll just get another Oops, piece of... I don't need another rod. I've already got one. But, uh, but it's wrong. <laughs> we just get a brand new rod? Yeah, I guess so. All right, so we need to start here, and we need to do this. Right? This makes sense to me, I guess. Because it's the... Oh my god. It's the only thing that looks like an actual dowel. This video is coming up on two hours long, but... This is what I wanted when I said that I was gonna do long plays. Okay, hang on. So we need to do one more. That doesn't look right. It doesn't? I'm so confused. <laughs> What am I supposed to do? I thought I had that right. I mean, it didn't really look all that right, but, you know. Alright, let me see. Give me the wood. Or not. I think I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. So, we're all the way, right? Now, what if I do... That. And then over here, do this. This kind of looks like a dowel. That doesn't look right. I'm so confused. <laughs> Better leave these goggles here. I am so confused. What am I supposed to do? Am I insane? Like, what does this mean? Oh, wait a second. The one on the left doesn't have this. Only the one on the right does. Okay. One more try. Oh, wait. Just kidding. I need another piece of wood. Alright. Let's try this again. And this time... We do this. Wood in your eye? Several pieces, actually, but the doctors got most of them out. I used Elliot's lathe without wearing eye protection. <laughs> Never do that again. Why were you using Elliot's lathe? I was making a new dowel for the band organ. I'm beginning to think being cursed is nothing compared to having you around. You're off the case. <laughs> Alright, that was my fault. We deserve that. That was my fault. I Grab the stupid goggles. Oops, what did I, I say? I need another rod. I've already got one. What did I even say? Right? I better not forget those. That's what I said. And what did I do? I forgot them. Of course I did. I'm not even sure that this is the right setting, like, for that one. Could be. Could not be. We'll find out. Jesus. Here. Yeah, yeah, good idea, Nance. 
All right, come on, Nancy. Let's go back to the carousel, finally, for the love of God, and uh, do this thing that should have taken me two seconds to do. That sums up literally this entire game. Uh, let's do something that could, that should have taken me two minutes to do and didn't. So let's take our dowel. And let's take our third roll. Oh, let's get my pen ready. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Excellent. And let's do... Am I supposed to see something happening? This is where the air comes out. I know there's air coming out of each pipe. If I could just see the air, I could figure out the sequence of notes. The band. Of course. Didn't we grab those? I swear that we did. Well, time to head back. Yeah, I'm making myself very well known that I am like on to everybody's. Sick. Oh, for the love of heaven. Okay, thank you. <sighs> okay, let's go back to Elliot's. And he's back. That means I got everything that I was supposed to get from here. Where did I get those from? Maybe I do still have them. No, I definitely don't. I don't know where they are. Oop, don't click on that. I swear to God, I already have these and I don't know where they are. Am I insane? Didn't we pick them up? We picked them up from like right here, didn't we? Can I just take these ones? Okay, let's ask, uh, let's ask Dude Bro. Hey Nance, what's going on? I noticed you have a poppy dada. We met at an art show last year. She insisted I take that piece home with me. She'd never admit it, but she thinks I'm hot. Uh-huh. What color was the tail of the carousel horse that was stolen? I don't remember. I could probably dig up an old picture and look. Uh, how hard do you think it would be to make a forgery of a carousel horse? Oh, wait. I have a text message. Um It's okay. How do you how hard That's do you okay. How hard do you think it would be to make a forgery of a carousel horse? I have no idea. I'll let you get back to work. Keep it real. Do you have some tape that I can borrow? Some tape and other things that would be really nice. Cuz apparently I don't. Am I crazy? I swear to god. This is the most roundabout way of getting answers ever. Would it be okay if I took some tape? It oh, might come God. in handy. Help yourself. Okay. Is that it? That's all I need? I don't have anything else, so I guess we'll find out. Let's get our key card. Yeah, but I don't even have those. Like, I don't know where they went. Am I crazy? I think I've lost it. Look, I'm serious. Like, where are the tissue strips? Like this? This is where the air comes out. Okay, thank you. This isn't it. Oh, uh, it was it. I don't know why I thought that was something else, but that was it. Right now I need this. Okay, hang on. Okay. Hey. 
C B A. Got it. All right, got it. I bet we're gonna get the key to the hidden area from this machine. Two, please report immediately to the security office, and by immediately, I mean don't even think about doing anything else. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I just got off the phone with Miss Santos. Where do you get off telling her I'm some kind of jewel thieving peeping Tom? I'm sorry, but I thought she had a right to know what I know. You don't know Zip. I had nothing to do with the theft of that carousel horse. Just because I did time doesn't mean I'm guilty of every crime that comes down the pike, you know? I know that now. And I'm really sorry. I figured if I did a good job here, it would prove to everybody once and for all that I was totally trustworthy. That I was more than just an ex-con. A lot more. Okay, so maybe I'm trying a little too hard. Maybe people's entry codes should be off limits. It's just that this job means everything to me. I don't think he's guilty. I don't screw it up. I guess I was a little overzealous too. I I'm really sorry. I'll see you around. Well, that's awkward. Okay, so we probably shouldn't have said anything, but that's okay. What's done is done. Although I do still need to go to please report to the security office. Why? I just was there. I stepped out for a second, and when I came back, somebody'd left this envelope on my desk. Looks like it's for you. Got your name on it anyway. Oh boy. There's nothing inside but a key. Maybe it opens that door in the haunted house. Here, let me toss that envelope for you. I want to apologize for jumping all over you like that before. It's two seconds ago. About it, the more I realized that I would have done just what you did. No hard feelings. Oh, no hallelujah. Hard feelings. Okay. I feel good now. All right. Can I, can I go back to what I was doing? I need to speak to Joy. <laughs> Any luck? I think I've got it set. I think we're all set. I know the tune and I've got a harmonica. Play it for miles and see what happens. My oral sensors are ready. Talk it to me. Of course. All right, so. A. B. D. E. F. E. A. B. Hooray. I remember that, that song. I did ride the carousel. Over and over and over, always the same horse, always the same black horse. You love the carousel, and you loved one horse in particular. It was not the lead horse, and it was not spectacular, but you loved it, Joy. What was its name? I can't remember. Is the name important? Is the name important? I am not programmed to continue unless and until you of remember course. the name of that horse. Of course. You loved it so oh. much that your mother bought it for you. Oh, here we go. She was the one who bought the horse off the carousel? Then I know the name. Glory. But Glory. That's right. Aww. Glory. My mother gave him to me for my birthday. My fourth birthday. She died in a car accident that very night. Ooh. It would have reminded you of your mother. How awful. No wonder you forgot how much you love the carousel. Jesus. It would have reminded mysteries you of your within mother. mysteries. I hated the park after my mother died. I hated the carousel. I have no and idea I who hated this is. that horse. I blamed it for what happened to my mother. I had my father destroy it. But your father did not destroy it. Instead, of course he didn't. That horse would have been worth literally thousands, if not millions. The magnificent memory machine. You would come to terms with your past. For good reason. And because that is what you are doing, here is the third and final riddle. Ask Tink for the book you and I used to read about Kessler and Amelia Go Kind. Give her nickname a spin on spook number 10. Then the brass prize arranged on its forearm so strange. And something long lost and cherished you'll find. What? Tink's the guy who runs the carousel. Tink's the guy who runs the carousel. Let's give him a call. I've got his number. No. Nancy, I did something terrible. 
I turned the power off to the roller coaster and caused the accident that shut down the park. I Whoa. blamed Miss Santos for my father's death, just like I blamed that horse for what happened to my mother. I feel horrible. Keep going without me, Nancy. I have to go see Miss Santos and apologize. Jesus. Apologize. That cost the park like an insane oh geez. So this is starting to all come together, isn't it? All right, so it looks like there really is only one bad person, and it is either Harlan, which I doubt, or Elliot, which I think is the person. So, uh, we need to call Tank. Dial. Dial. <laughs> Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Did you land that fish? I don't want to talk about it. Did that answer your question? I guess not. According to the late Daryl Trent, you have a book about Rolf Kessler According and his wife. According to the late Daryl Trent, you have a book about Rolf Kessler and his wife. Not anymore, I don't. You don't have it? Daryl Trent was kind of an oddball, you know what I mean? So when he gave me the book, I said I'd hang on to it just to humor him. As soon as he died, I pitched it. Oh my god. You threw it out? You mean in the garbage? He said it was a book he and his kid used to read. But hey, Daryl Trent was dead. I never met the kid, and the book was boring. So what was the point? Oh my God, Daryl Trent, you trusted the wrong person. You mean you read the book before you threw it out? Nah, not really. I just kind of glanced through it. Do you by any chance remember Amelia's nickname? Who's Amelia? Oh, never mind. Sorry. I'm curious. Who do you think stole that horse off the carousel? Kids staring at each other, doing stupid kid stuff. Maybe somebody just liked the way old Nightshade looked and wanted him for himself. I don't know. Nightshade? That was its name. Nightshade. Kessler gave all of his horses names. Painted them on their bridles. Have fun fishing. <laughs> I always do. Except when you don't land them and then you're upset. Okay. Well, that's a problem. Hey, Nance. What's going on? I I'll thought maybe he would know. Work. If you must. <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, let's take a look at this book because... Oh, I don't know. Oh, this wouldn't have anything about it. Okay, well, I don't know what to do with that. So let's go to the captain's quarters real quick and take a look at my to-dos. Assuming I don't have anything waiting for me. Things to do. Put a new dowel. Arrange the brass ring on Spook 10's forearm sister. Oh, hey. But what is Spook 10? What does that mean? What is Spook 10? Consult the expert. Who is the expert? There's an expert? Check out spook number 10. What does that mean? Spook number 10. Is that from is that from the haunted house? Cause spooky? I mean it's gotta, right? So we'll go to the haunted okay. Hello? This is Luis Guerra with the State Board of Parole. I understand you have some questions concerning Harlan Bishop. Right. Hi. Uh, yes, for starters, could you tell me what prison he was in? He served 30 months in Bayside State Prison for check kiting and forgery. He was paroled five weeks ago. Did you say Bayside State Prison? Yes, I did. Has he ever gone to by any other name? Has he ever gone by any other name besides Harlan Bishop? No, ma'am. Did he ever have a cellmate named Chaz Dunning? No, ma'am. As far as I know, Harlan is a security guard at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. Now, do all these questions mean you know something about him that I don't? No, that's pretty much what I know, too. Well, I hope I've been of some assistance. Oh, you have. You've been a big help. Thank you. Good day, then. Bye. So I'm assuming that this means that we've... I said no because I don't want to go around spreading false rumors again. All right, if we go down there right now, there might be someone down there. So we're going to save. And then we're going to go this way. Is Looks that this like one? Spook 10 is missing an arm. The arm is missing. Okay, thank you. So we need to do that. That symbol looks familiar. Yes, it does, Nance. Let's go ahead and grab this. And then that key. So someone had to know that we needed the key for this, but who the heck gave it to me? Maybe these stairs go down to Kessler's workshop. Good job, Nance. All right. I got Nancy. What was that? Nancy.
<laughs> oh my god. Did you flippin' see that? Did you see them reactions? Okay, can we go in there and take a look? Because I feel like we could probably examine that. Holy crow. I am so glad that we survived that. Jesus, someone just tried to literally kill me. Well, we just got... Whose pliers? I think it was Ingrid's pliers, didn't we? Hello, Nancy. Here's your How pliers. There's I'm not going to mention anything yet. House. It's been red tagged. It's missing an arm. Any chance it'll be up and running again in the near future? Got the arm right here. Just needed a battery. That's one of the dummies Joy Trent's father created. Probably why the circuitry is so bizarre. It works though, so just reattach it. You'll need pliers. Yeah, pliers. Oh, don't forget to take the red tag back to Spy Master Bishop. Thanks for your help. No big deal. I'm not gonna say anything. I feel like she did that because we did approach her and tell her that we knew what was up. So I it's feel locked. like saying anything more might lead to my untimely demise. Although, seeing her reaction, someone is down there again. So, let's go over to this thing. And we're going to pop the arm on. Oi. Is that it? I feel like that. I feel like I could break this and then we'll be off the case. Okay, that's as many letters as I can have, so we're just gonna save over. Uh oh. I need a tool to attach this arm. Oh, we need another one, I guess. That looks tight enough. Right, and then one last thing. It's been red tagged. Oops, no power. Okay. What does that mean? No power. Wait, I need to put, but it's, oh gosh darn it. Maybe I was supposed to put the ring on. Well, let's give him hey, this. Nancy, what's up? Could you please turn the juice back on to the dummy in the haunted house that Ingrid was fixing? Here's the tag. You really got the system down, don't you? I'll just flip the switch and you'll be good to go. I'll see you around. Have fun. All right, let's go ahead and go back and maybe that's when we're supposed to put the ring on it. So let's see. Let's go over here. There's my there's my key card. So whoever's oh Jesus. Yeah, that's that's definitely scary. Tomepi? What does that even mean? Yes? No? Yes? Oh gosh darn it. What was the riddle? Oh wow, yeah, that moves. Alright. Good stuff. So let's let's skedaddle, right? Oops, just kidding. I am Miles, the magnificent memory machine. Okay. Joy has stepped out of the office. Thanks, Miles. The Nancy Drew entity is welcome. Okay. Thank you. I don't want to snoop too much. She said that it was was it Nightshade? No, 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 no. Oh god, I forgot the name of the stupid horse. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, what was It was Glory, wasn't it? Yeah, the one that she loved was Glory and then her mom bought it. G L O R Y. Of course not. Of course not. That would be way too much. That would be way way too easy. Oh, gosh, dang. What the heck is am I supposed to put here? So let's call the Hardy Boys. They definitely have to know what's up. Could, could we scroll up? Thank you. There they are. Scary music in the background. Where are you at, Nancy? Oh, I'm in a haunted house. Hey, Frank, it's Nancy. I'm on too, Nance. What's new? Someone made a very serious. Okay. Someone made a very serious attempt to drop something very heavy on me while I was in the haunted house a little bit ago. What happened? An alleged friend left me a key that opened a door I'd found in there. Behind it were some stairs. 
and at the end of the stairs, there was nothing. Except, Except the for the pliers, which we right. needed. You don't know who gave you the key? Somebody left it for me in Harlan's office. He didn't see who it was. Or so he says. Somebody has obviously caught on to the fact that you know your stuff, Nancy. So be careful. Any suggestions as to my next move? The person who wrote that book you were supposed to get from Tink isn't the only person who knew Amelia Kessler's nickname. Any expert on Kessler would know it. I'll bet if you just collect your thoughts, something will occur to you. I better get going. Bye, Nancy. See you around the campus. Okay, so Joy is missing. <laughs> Joy is missing. The only person who really knew anything about Kessler was what's his face, Elliot. Hey, hey Nancy. Nancy. What's going on? He doesn't I'll know anything. Back to work. Keep it real. So that means it's gotta be. I know where it is. <laughs> we have to call somebody. Let's go through here. Grab our phone, and I forgot the dude's name. This guy? It's gotta be this guy. He's gotta be the one who knows Kessler. My name is Nancy Drew. I saw the article you wrote about Rolf Kessler in the collector's hot sheet magazine. That was several months back, but go on. Well, seeing as you're pretty much an expert on Kessler as well as carousels, I was hoping you could answer a question for me. I'd be delighted. Would you happen to know the nickname Rolf Kessler gave his wife, Amelia? Of course I do. At least, I thought I did. It was an Austrian term of endearment, rather common. Oh, come on, Anton, think. Think, Spazzi. Anton. That was it. Spazzi. S-P-A-T-Z-I. He always called her Spazzi. Did you by any chance hear about the horse that was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove Amusement Park in New Jersey? It was one of the carousels that Kessler carved. Yes, I did. And I thought, how odd. Because, you see, I'd gotten a call from someone about a month prior to that asking me how much I thought one of those horses would be worth. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea who it was that called? None whatsoever. He never gave me his name, nor did he say where he was calling from. The thought that I may have actually encouraged someone to mutilate a work of art. Oh. How much would, yeah. How much would a horse from a Kessler carousel be worth? Depending on its condition, whether it's an inside horse or an outside horse, whether it's the lead horse, anywhere from 80000 to well over $100,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is. But Kessler carved horses for only five carousels in his lifetime. So not only is each horse exquisitely beautiful, but it's very rare, especially if it's the lead horse. Oh my. The lead horse? The outside horse, just behind the chariot. The place where you can sit instead of ride. It's traditionally the most ornately carved horse on the carousel, hence the most valuable. Interesting. Thanks for all the info. Glad to help. All right, I didn't think the other thing that she had to say was important. So, we know spatsy is the word, and I'm saying that wrong, but for now I need to remember how it's spelled, so spatsy with a Z. So that's gotta be the thing that's going on this machine. So we want... This is not, okay. Ooh, 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 come back. There we go. Spats. Oops. And I. There it goes. Oh, and. Oh, no, 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 no. Nancy, Nancy. Oh, joy. This is it. That must be glory. Uh, these stairs sure don't feel very safe. <laughs> We're just gonna come down here and say, uh, stairs. Questionable stairs. I don't know that I'm gonna, I mean, honestly, second chance saves me from a lot of it, but. Oh god, the horse. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. These must be jewels from that jewel heist. I broke I it. probably take these with me. Oh boy. A letter. Joy's father must have left it for her. My dearest Joy. I hope Miles oh, and his riddles he have saved helped a picture. you how much you adored this horse and how dearly you loved the woman who gave it to you. I found this picture of her years ago, but I didn't want to give it to you until yeah, I knew she'd rip it up. Ready. She loved you more than anything, Joy. We both did, Dad. P.S. If you want to see where Glory was carved, look for Kessler's symbol on the wall. I could never spend a lot of time in there. Very strange vibes. 
Interesting. Well, there's glory. And so here's this. this. Workshop. Interesting. Okay, yeah, I see Some what he means. Somebody's been making reproductions, or should I say forgeries? Of Nightshade. They're trying to replace Nightshade, so no one will notice. Well, this looks new. Dark Horse at Sinus. Already have two potential buyers. They learned about the hauntings on TV and are champing at the bit, as it were. The sooner they get the horse, the better. How soon can you get two done? 40 you, 60 me. Split will work out great. Consider this a handshake. How long will you... Three to five weeks is too long. This kind of buyer gets cold feet real fast. The longer you take, the more suspicious they'll get. Work faster. It's taking me longer than I thought it would. Won't have the first horse ready. Already have two... Okay, so that's bad. We are officially in dangerous bit. I'll bet that's the carousel horse that was stolen. Yep, this does certainly look like the real nightshade. And look, it's got a black rose. But these guys probably do too. Yep, they sure do. Well, they would be... Oh god. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. What have you done? It's what you've done. You stole the horse, you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. You think? You let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Oh right God. on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to tell anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Look what I have. They're diamonds. Real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. Well, well, a little icing on the cake. Throw him, Nancy. I think I'm letting him have you. You want him? Here. That's right. You want him? Here. Ouch! Hey. Go! Book it! I've got to get out of here. Wait, what the f- Oh, Jesus. I'm trapped! I've got to get out of here. I've got you, Nancy. You're cornered. Oh god, and he's walking. You might as well give up. He's walking real slow, isn't he? Oh, oh, oh god, Nance. Oh god, what happened? End of the road, detective. Oh Jesus, that's creepy. I think I died. Yeah, I died. All right, second chance. So we're gonna turn around. We're going this way. So obviously, going down the stairs was not what we needed to do. I'm trapped. Okay. I get out of here. So I, got you, Nancy. You're I, I bet it's got something to do with this guy. Oh, you maybe we're supposed well to push up. this sign. Oh God! Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh my God! What? Here. I'm gonna call the police, Elliot. So don't bother making plans for tonight, <laughs> or the next ten years. Oh my God! Hey, we did it. Dear Ned, after Woo! trapping Elliot, I managed to pry the exit open and had Harlan call the police. Elliot admitted to stealing the carousel horse and planning the remote control device. He knew that publicity from the hauntings would increase the value of his forgeries. Needless to say, he's gone back to not liking me. <laughs> Harlan, on the other hand, Aww. adores me now. Because not only did he share the credit for busting Elliot, but his sudden fame brought him three job offers. He's staying on at Captain's Cove out of loyalty to Paula, but he's happy knowing that being an ex-con will probably never be an issue for him again. One hopes. As for Ingrid, she promptly attributed Elliot's bad behavior to a deficiency in some mineral I couldn't pronounce. And Joy, when I gave her the picture of her mother, she started smiling and has yet to stop. Aww. Inventing Miles was the best thing her late father could have done for her. In fact, when I went to the park to say goodbye just now, she wasn't in her office. She was uh. riding the carousel. <laughs> Ever yours, Nancy. Oh, that's cute. I I don't know what's going on. Sassy detective, congratulations on solving the haunted carousel. Based on your sleuthing style, you are presented with the certificate of award in recognition of exploring every nook of every cranny in the game. Magellan. Oh, that's what I got. I guess from that email. All right, well that was cool. <laughs> you have reached 555-4468. Five, 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 four, four, 
I can't come to the phone right now, so please leave a message. What is this? Hi, Beth. Hi, George. Well, thanks to you guys, I'm oh. and flying directly to the Pacific Northwest for some much needed R and R. This is what I think George, it is. I just got off the phone with that marine biologist friend of yours. She insisted I stay with her, and she even said she'd take me whale watching on the tour boat. I don't owns. think so. Anyway, thanks for arranging this little vacation, you two. One whole week. The next game, quiet, the one that they that would have come after nothing. this one. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. Bye. Nancy Drew on a quiet vacation. <laughs> I like the question mark. <laughs> What is a record scratch? No! <laughs> Why would you record scratch? No! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Deception Island. Okay, that, that would be the next game. So there we go. There's Nancy Drew and whatever this was called. The carousel. Whew, okay, took me a total of, I think, like four hours. Three, four hours. Which is about right for these adventure games. These point and click adventure games. This is gonna be fun to split up. I don't know if I'm gonna split it up or if I'm gonna, I mean, obviously you, you'll know what I'm gonna do because it'll be doing that by the time it gets uploaded. I think I, the idea is I wanna do these things in long plays. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. This was a lot of fun. These are just games that I've enjoyed pretty much all my life. They're very easy, but they have like that whole, I mean, that whole sense of like needing to literally fill a page with like the lessons that you learn in order to solve a problem and that kind of stuff I love like hidden object games have never been that great to me because they don't typically have that level of a of a mini game they they're usually the more useless mini games which was the ones from earlier that one was hard i would be hard pre i would be surprised to see kids like figure that out cuz that was that was an intense mini game. That was like a mini game that a kid would go up to their parent and go, "What the heck am I supposed to do?" And the parent sits there for forty-five minutes, like me. Um, so yeah, that was Nancy Drew. Um, I really liked that one. That one was a lot of fun. There are a couple that I have played that I have just not finished because they are so, so stupid, and they have the worst. Like I said it earlier, and I can't remember the word, but the mini games are so pointless and like like really annoying <laughs> and really repetitive like they're the one uh where i think the game grumps did it the wolf at ice creek or something like that that one has this thing that you have to do every day that you are in the game that you are there and you have to do that mini game and the time is constantly moving forward that doesn't always happen in a lot of these um like this one did not have the time mechanism or mechanic excuse me but in the wolf one it does have the time mechanics so it's not a it's not a case of you have to do stuff and you just do it and then if you ever go to sleep you have to do the mini game if you don't do the mini game you get in trouble and it's the most stupid mini game where you have to make food for people and it takes forever and it slows the whole thing down so much so i that one annoyed me there was a high school there's a college high school it was either a high school or a college one that had like a cult and the story behind it was really cool but there were some mini games in there that were so stupid and so irritating and i had to do them because it was like a block where you if you don't do the mini game you can't continue on it made me so mad um, yeah, so some of these have those kinds of minigames, and some of these are like this one, where they're actually, like, not that hard, and they're pretty straightforward, and they're relaxing. So, anyways, thank you so much for watching, um, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I learned a lot about shorthand, and I learned a lot about, uh, carousels, which actually was really cool to me, and I've been thinking a lot about it since playing this. Alright, I'm gonna see you guys next time for the next, I don't know, random long play for whatever it is, and, uh, yeah.